Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indie Eagle. And sorry if I sound a little funny, I'm getting a little sick. But in this tutorial, I want to cover the basics of surfaces. Uh, basically, what a surface is it's a canvas that you put over the screen of your game and you draw things to it. And in a lot of cases, surfaces are the best way to go to uh, speed up your game. It will not slow it down nearly as much as if you just keep drawing things to the game like you normally would. So the first thing we w I want to do is go in, create an object, go in the create event, and top this. Okay, and now I will put this in the game. And as you can see, there's absolutely no text there. The reason for this is because draw text is a draw command, therefore it can only be placed in the draw event. Okay, so now that you know that, it'll kind of help a little bit more to demonstrate exactly what the surface is doing. We'll go on ahead and create the surface. The first thing you have to do is set up a variable. And in this tutorial, I'll just call it uh, surface. There we go. And all this does is creates the surface. And this is the uh, size of the surface. And 640 by 480 is the default size of a game maker level. And this variable is going to be used as the ID of the surface. And you'll see exactly what I mean by that in just a second. Now we need to go into uh, really any event. I'll use a step event for example. And to draw something to this surface the first thing you have to do is uh, set the target to which surface you want to draw to. And you do it like this. Okay and that's where the ID of the surface comes in handy. Now that we've set the target, we can draw things to it. Okay, and any time that you set a surface target, when you're done drawing to that surface, you always have to reset the target. Okay. Now we will go into the draw event. And we are now drawing the surface in the game. And once again we use the surface ID which is the name of the variable you set up earlier. And this will be the X and Y position of the surface. Now we can put this, actually we already have it in the game, we can just test it now. And you have text, and we drew the text in the step event thanks to the help of surfaces. Now we'll go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and say this, demonstrate this. It's basically the same as the text, but just in case, I'll cover it. We can also draw sprites. Okay. And there you have it. That's how you use the basics of surfaces 
there's still a lot to go over when it comes to surfaces and I will cover more of it tomorrow as a kind of a special Halloween tutorial. So that's it for this one though and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you next time.